Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. It's been a while since we've been standing outside the red doors for a part. We nor I normally go inside there before I move on, but it's like, we've just got a bit of a flashback, Danganronpa 1, you know, waiting outside the doors at the save point. Aw, oh, good times. I have actually had a lot of people going through my Danganronpa 1 and 2 Let's Plays and reading their comments every part, and it's just like, it feels so good. Then I go back and listen and hear my crappy audio, and I'm like, oof. Oof, son, sometimes it's not the best. Um. Wow, this is not everyone. Huh? This is everyone, right? This isn't everyone, right? Uh, um, Kaito and Kokichi aren't here. What's the point? I bet Kokichi is already there. You bastard. As the mastermind of the killing game, he's waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaito is alive. Do you want to die? Cut it out. Do you want to die? Maki. Well... There's a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I know I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair. You don't know? Six of us will participate, and one of us will die after this class trial. Then only five will be left. Only five. Ugh. That's right. We're the only ones left. That's obvious. But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kokichi no matter what I have to sacrifice. Dang. No matter what she has to sacrifice. Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? I know that we can't lose to despair. But something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaido would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? If it was Kaido. Let's pretend to be Kaido. Shuichi. Leave it to me! Shuichi, I understand you don't want to believe it, but... Kaido's not here anymore. We're gonna go downstairs and he's gonna be chilling there. Be like, hi guys, what's up? It'll be okay. I'm fine. I'll be on my guard the whole time. Right. I'm filled with the combined power of hope and magic right now. You do you. Keebs. Um. Let's go. No matter what Kokichi is scheming, there's no way we can lose. After all, we're students of Hope's Peak Academy. You keep bringing that up a lot. You. Bastard. I'll defeat Kokichi no matter what I have to sacrifice. We can't lose. Alright, let's click on the Illuminati bear. Rumble, rumble, ramble, ramble. I hope one time he just, like, rips the earth himself. Like, it would just be great. But no. We see the same thing. And I get to see that water go on the, on the, the thing there and then just kind of fade off. Yeah, there we go. Look, see, it's there and then it just kind of fades away. It's great. We didn't say a word to one another. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into those open doors. Let's go. We had lost the will to live, knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite the despair, we found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? And Monokuma appears. Did someone say bear? That'd be hilarious. If a bit non, you know, a little bit mood worrying, mood changing. As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I can, I need to think about is survival. Who's beeping me at a time like this? I'm busy recording. Stop, That's phone. Nice. Uh, a battle like this takes me back. After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. Yes, this is a truly magnificent theme. Wait a sec. <laughs> did, did, is this like the room from... Wait. Only esteemed works of fictions have themes as magnificent as this. Why? Oh my god, is this the room from Danganronpa 1? Am I just looking at this wrong? Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Oh, that is super classic! Wow! It's been a while, except it's very Kokichi-fied right now. Maki was right, the person who should be here isn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What? What's going on? What are you scheming now? 
It doesn't matter what Kukichi is scheming. We must do it. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Look at that Makoto Naegi! Oh, for the love of... No rules have been violated! Not on my watch, you know? Whatever, hurry up and start. We'll end it with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So, get ready. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now let's get started! Mix equal parts life and death at a dash of lies and truth. Bake it in the fires of conflict! <laughs> And when it gets golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. All right. And once more, we face a class trial. What if they're both dead? Was the one who died Kaido or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe Kaido wouldn't have died so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. Oh, he's purple, because we don't even know. But I'll fight to prove it. I will fight with everyone. And he's purple, too. To grasp the hope on the other side of this truth. I will fight. I'll fight in this trial of truth and lies, which I will be doing some lying in, I'm sure. Do you want to save? Yeah, it'd be a good idea. Nice to have. Bonus saves, always good. The fact that I can just have unlimited saves is just so nice compared to some games. Alright, we definitely got some more skills here. We also got some more points because we did a lot. Um, so we actually don't want to go there. I want to go to skills here. We got the Abracadabra, which is 24. After enough time, the correct truth bullet will be shown. What? That seems really broken. Neutral liber- uh, what was the other one we got? It was... Saint Me- no. What was the other one we got from her? I forget which one was the one we got. 2D Love. Some panels will be filled in. That's- that's too easy. Let's see here. I don't want to get- those seem really good- well... No, that seems really nice to have, actually. I take it back. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. That's that's for when I get super stuck. That seems really strong, and I will take it. And we still have room for six more, so... Scrum I don't- gets fine. Instantly silences. Reveals V points. That's always nice. Just a peek. The entire screen will light up more frequently. That is useful. That is very useful. I will take those for sure. Um, increase the amount- that's fine. Power of life and death makes it- yeah, those- those are good. I will take those. Uh, against the Mastermind Kokichi, the students must survive a class trial without knowing... ...the... ...murderer... ...or the... ...vic- I was hoping it'd say the murdered, which is a fun word. An unprecedented, an unpredictable trial begins. Cool, let's do this thing. Yeah, the abracadabra skill seems super broken, and I will take it. Ahem. Now then, yes, the we know. Trial, you'll vote correctly, and yes. I'll punish everyone besides Oh, hey, there's the a blockhead. there's an argument. And that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Well, that will put him down. Seriously? What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face killer! This case has some unique circumstances. Oh my god, is it literally going to be... Well, we're not going to show if they're alive or dead because that proves it one way or the other. Unique circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. So it's it's Schrodinger's cat for both of them, pretty Even much. These circumstances... Until observed, they're neither dead nor alive. I decided to start off this class trial wow. while the victim is still alive. That's a twist After all this time all, in. It'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Well, by them not being here, they're participating, worry, I guess. The who's yeah, right there. Is waiting behind the 
scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get mm, this trial moving. Well, we'll see who it is, I guess. Choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Ah, uh, we have some to talk about, including with you, Himiko. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Everyone thinks Kaito is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. All right, let's do this thing. Let's see here. The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. That is true. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. That is also true. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Uh, yes. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for him. Kokichi so the can't. Must um. Be Kaito. Except not, we very the clearly have his thing. We have his clothes with blood on it. Really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast revive spells. Okay, so yeah, we got this. Oh, do you see? Do you see the? Oh, that's actually super broken. That's the most broken I've ever seen it. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no. That's the most That's broken small. it's ever been. Oh my god, I... <laughs> I almost feel like people are gonna be... No, don't put it on, it ruins I it! But it's like, it's to fine. Being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. And the back, in that a big, big old hole. An external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. No? Yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence that thingies. Someone's jacket, of which anyone can wear, is there? No. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. Why, uh, but why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she said she'd want to believe Kaido is still alive. Is she a doubter until the truth? Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaido's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there is a chance that Kaido is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Mm -hmm. What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. There's something peculiar, uh, the blood stain, the owner, the sleeve. The blood stain, yeah. About the blood- nope, guess not. Since Kaido's a victim, it has to be blood. What other possibility? It. Nope. I get- okay, what they're trying to say is the person who was wearing it. Wait, what? Do you think he's supposed to believe the Kaido? Of course. Wait, then I what's the wrong. other one? The sleeve? What? The sleeve of the jacket? I mean, that's okay. It. That's a- sure. Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? I mean, I guess I was gonna say that. Been crushed by the more press. importantly, there's a hole the in it for where someone got shot and the other person very clearly. Okay, that's fine. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. No, he very clearly wears one of so them. The fact never that we found an empty sleeve. Should shall I kill that logic? Yeah, that he never wears one of them. For some reason, huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Yeah. I... Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Okay, let's see here. What, what do we use here? I don't even know. 
Kaido's coat? The coat sticking out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito. Oh, I missed one somewhere that. there. Then you weren't looking hard enough. Okay. I wasn't looking hard enough. Let's see here. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. That's true. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. That's so when the true. Hydraulic press crushed him. All that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already. Otherwise, you're getting in the way. Hmm. Well, that's the only one. Maki's claim pure saw, but it's not uh, that it's no, but it's she's wrong. She can't conclude that he's dead on the evidence. Okay, that is the right one. Oh God, that is so broken. So oh, whoops, I missed it. Him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand the whoops. Be quiet already, Let's try that again. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never his arms to his Nice, I got the beat cut. That is the absolute best skill. And honestly, okay, so here's the thing. I have to be looking, like, yes, I, I've, I'm true. still solving it on my own. It'll only be for when I get stuck, really. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. Wait, is that, would that be his left? I didn't even think about that. Left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Okay, well, that is, <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That's awfully strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Ah, uh, he wore it the cool way, where you just drape it off your shoulders. It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? It seems you made up your mind that Kaido is definitely dead. But why'd you do it's that? like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Oh my god, if he brings out Kaido, I'll scream. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! Yeah, no, no way that uh, Kaido can fit in that. I don't think he's a tall boy. Oh my god, are we actually gonna have him? <laughs> there, so that we don't know who it is. Why is an Exosol here? Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Whoops. Wait. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? Wait. What? What is this? Is that? Kaito's voice? What? Kaito? I don't believe it. What's going on? So I just hid in an exosol and kind of dozed off. <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid. Oh that my god, I knew it. Lie. I knew it. I was like, what? No way. thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kokichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Is that, is, that, is, that, is that natural song? Also, very nice voice! Wow, that's old. How old are you? I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> You're making me Oh my blush. god, with with the You're over the so angry over oh, me. I can't put he can't do the both arms up with that though. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Well, yeah, cuz uh, part of me is like is it going to be like going back and forth between personas so that we don't know who it is until I realized, wait, no way Kaito would be the one Imitating Kokichi. Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. 
Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? To be fair, this is not much different from the stupid giant mecha Junko from the end of Danganronpa 2. <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. Great, good. We're gonna watch a snuff film, no problem. W what did you say? Personally, I'd rather not All see a dude right explode. Then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the exit hall, hooked it up to the courtroom's monitor, and played the tape for us, even though that's gonna be gross? Not as bad as I expected. Still, we're... They're not gonna be able to live after watching that. Huh? Kaito? This is terrible! Why would something like this... I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. I'm gonna... By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause buttons so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. What is the dynamic here and I still don't get it? I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Is is he digging his own grave right now? Which means this footage is 100% real. I mean, he's just... If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body yeah, I mean... we found inside the hangar crushed in the hydraulic press is definitely Kaito. Murder video has been recorded in the monopad. View it. Nah, it's fine. Was that, was that really him? Oh, poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. I can't believe he died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Yeah, you, you sound a little too happy. No, that was a weird voice to read. That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my barf over to you. I'd never want to imagine the words barf transfer ever again, thank you. I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... Why... Why was Kaito killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us that he was the mastermind that the killing game was over. So, what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage... Is he gonna be like, you're the can't only be me? I press be record and pause. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Right. <sighs> Wait, I don't know what to do when you're on screen! Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial, I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. 
I wasn't supposed to show it right away. I feel like he's so many steps ahead that it's like... So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Well, no, we still gotta it prove okay it. that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. He may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Is he gonna say literally who? Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his- No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? Yeah, that'd be That's weird and subversive. Yeah. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. It's so weird that we all just have knowledge of Junko suddenly. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. Yeah, no, that's fair. Would have been no oh wow, we're making very compelling arguments. Place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then the question is now, then who? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's not Kokichi, then the culprit Unless must it's be one of us. suicide, which I feel might be possible, but we'll see here. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said! I'm actually not the culprit! <sighs> you... I've ne Nothing he says matters. Him being here means nothing. Seriously? Like... What? But that contradicts what you said previously. He just lies all the time! Yep, Burrs, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage! It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just gonna leave it at that? Yeah, no, let's, let's actually fight this thing out because there's problems here. Like the the fact There's that the no hydraulic the press the shouldn't be able to do it to him. Put it from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Yeah. Horrible video. It's pretty bad. Who committed that crime? Was with Kaito in the hangar. Was Which with just Ka leaves Kokichi then. Um. The culprit is. Yeah. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Wait a second. Kokichi killed Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus now. But is that even There's possible? No yeah. Yeah, it's clearly on the safety function. Because that that's the early, problem. Right? But now is a case of where does it go? Kaito got crushed to death. What if he didn't? Yeah, because... How could he get crushed to death if the crusher doesn't actually accept human matter? Organic matter. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function? 
Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. Are we gonna learn that it was always broken and that yes, it would have stopped if Kiba was in it? Because that would suck. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. He did have blood on him. Oh wait, would it detect that he's not alive? Because so organic is one video, thing. He was already dead by then? Huh. But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No. Would it still run? I don't think would use an for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system. Yeah, right? Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr- Nah, we kind of do. No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there's a clue that suggests the kicked him, uh, kicked him. Victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. What do we... The, the blood stain, probably? Or is it... Swipe pattern blood stain. This is it! Again, unless it's going the other way. Blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaido was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests the cause of death, and that's in the video. Because you can see there. that he had the mark on his arm as well, where his he was before. The sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. The, the small hole? No, no, no. There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. Oh, here we go. I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. Oh, that's rough. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. You kind of are. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaido's sleeve. These three arrows. The arrows in the bathroom. What can you do with just an arrow? Are you saying they stabbed him with it? No, wait, shoot. I mean, sure, we gotta show the crossbow itself. This is it! I mean, fine. I shouldn't lose that should I both the accept them. Was the crossbow found in the bathroom. I mean, I guess if you ask me what's the weapon, the arrow or the bow, it's like, what's the weapon, the bullet or the gun? Well, it's, it's, it's technically the gun. A crossbow arrow and then you say, no, it's the, the person shooting small. it. And it's like. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. Surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaido getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. Does he know? Is that even him in there? I don't know. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. What? What a Makoto! Hope? Despair? Is he getting flashbacks or something? Aight. Uh... 
three I arrows. Let's see here. What a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? Every time I hear playtime is over, it fired. sounds like um, Shadow From in Sonic Adventure 2. Inside? Can you even hit we that? I guess. Go in the, hangar. the alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. <laughs> oh my god, really? If we couldn't go in the hangar. And Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Well, there's the bathroom window. Kaido would have been in there, but the murder weapon was a crossbow. Knowing that, we should be able to visualize the murder. Yep, the thought so. Because it doesn't have right it doesn't guys? have to be in there. Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. Because she says would Kaito. need to be. It very clearly does That's not wrong. need to be in there. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. Especially if you were like straight down because it's at like that 45 degree angle and you shoot it straight up and then it would bounce at like perfectly. That's how arrows work. And I'm being stupid. Kaido Please don't take that seriously. Okay, but the problem is, so how'd you hit his arm? Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me. What did you say? But Himiko, I don't think means... it's you because you gave the wait. No, because she walked in with the crowd. Oh, that's actually pretty bad looking. Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Look for the truth by looking at all possible angles? Yes. Not basing it off of gut, but going with logic? Yes. Actually trying to solve it using all forms of evidence? Yes. Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? Yes, because you need to look at all the po- <laughs> Like- <sighs> It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial. Because to pursue the truth, you have to look f like there's only one truth. There's no multiple truths in the universe, so you gotta look at everything. You're always suspicious of your friends. Yeah, because there's six people here and one of them died. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair. Someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I... I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. Nope, don't laugh. Come on, man. You hold what? it together. Are you after my small hole, too? Oh, okay. See? Now that's definitely weird. Yep. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbows. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider- Okay. It does I concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Thank you, Kibo. I was gonna say, can someone say something? Well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. What? Th that crossbow came from your research lab, right? Okay, we, we've we seen a CG cutscene of you walking with it. You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. 
definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit, I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Momoki too! They're both the culprits! Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I'm I am the culprit. I'm the culprit! Okay, this one might be a bit more difficult because I legitimately don't know. I feel like I gotta hit it with, um, Himiko, though. Like, Kibo's account there. Let's see here. Kibo's account here says... She was a black bag. Yeah. Let's see here. There's a good magic source around there. Then who actually number one suspect? No, right there. No, hit! Oh, I missed it. You left empty handed? Nope, that's Wait what? I'm hitting that. We should look in the inconsistencies. There lies somewhere there. Okay, no. She did leave empty. Or she went there. No, she left empty handed. That's true. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, it just missed a couple times the first time. No, you did leave empty handed. That's true. You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. N no, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me! There's a couple problems there. One of which is the cospox, but there's other problems too. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. <laughs> I am a fictional character. Oh, that'd this be is great. the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carrying. <laughs> what? Hold on. I don't think it's her. Crossbow? I don't think it's Himiko. She's a part of the plan that was, but I feel like she's a bystander that was roped in. She's my thumbnail uh -oh. girl. She'll never do anything. Well, it's decided then. But wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't shoot it! It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! That is true. Can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. Alright, Himiko, let's learn the truth. Truth will set you free, unless you're Maki, in which case it's not the best. I'm not the culprit! Let's see here. This yeah, guess totally three arrows. Agree. Shut I up! Really carried the case. Only carry the yep, yep. case. That's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she couldn't have. Statement. There's no well. way. I didn't do anything else in the hangar. She can't use it because she can't exactly put it together. Why does this There's no way. Yep, it's all my fault. No, she can't use it because you can't put it together. I agree with you yeah, that you I couldn't totally have used agree. it. So let's see here. I only carried the case. That's true. I'm not gonna yep, go yep. against that. That's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. No, that's just embarrassing. I didn't think it'd go that high up. <laughs> it's so funny in Chipmunk Vision. Chipmunk audio. Yep, yep, that's true. I didn't even and... use the crossbow. Oh, come on. 
There we go. I'm trying to get that that V agree, but it never really. Those are tough to get. If there's an achievement for getting all them, I'm that's not happening. I don't use the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it. Why not? Really, the list of suspects right now is like uh, on the outside is Maki, me, Kaito himself, and even Kokichi couldn't put it together. The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well. What if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? She didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? Wait, did- did you? What's wrong? Are you- Wait. Mad about before? Did you? Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me. So, I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko! I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. Sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! I didn't, so I'm good. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. Then... Why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Okay, now this is interesting. By whom? Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was... Was it Kaito himself? That's it! Yeah, I thought so. That makes the most sense. Was it... Kaito? No, it was Kibo, the killer <gasps> robot. Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Nah. You. But I like you. Gross. No, bad. Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. But to think Kaido asked Himiko to do it. Yeah, why would you ask Himiko? Maybe Kaido was trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Oh yeah, him. I'm gonna do something myself, bro. I'll do something about this. That's a promise. You guys are working hard. Hmm. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well... Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. And then Kaito died and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. So was that before was so we met, or at... Kokichi, that was after, yeah. Sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little. Too much, no, too much info. To that's fine. Book. Um, that one part was, uh... You know what? Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow... Does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow then went right back to the dorms. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returns fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. Okay, but there'd have to be a crazy sort of super hot moment where Kokichi, like, slide kicks into Kaito 
the weapon goes into the air and then Kokichi picks it up and shoots, but... No, hmm. it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. Uh, the, 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 well, the fact that there's the, where is it, um, Kokichi's clothes there, yep, there's the holes in them. This is it! That's proof that he did get shot. But the question is, Remember is Kokichi clothes, a robot? The no. Wait. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Yo, if you got shot in the back and shoulder like that, you'd be down. You wouldn't. How would you do that? Then it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. Are we gonna open up and there's like not gonna be a person in there? And he's you like, I'm the Exisle now. The I hope not. Shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. Hmm, yeah, it no... doesn't matter <clears throat> what happened in the middle. But in the end... There's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. What if we're doing all this searching and that is the then answer? Let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. Do we though? You sure about that? Thank you. Wait, huh? what? I'm thanking you? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really... That's what I'm asking! Stuff like that. That's a big what? mystery to me! What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. Mind you, we have a digital Kokichi that we could very easily upload. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It what? <laughs> Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. No, but you no. won't. Sorry for the wait, guys. The I hate of the this. Stars has arrived. This time for real. Ka Kaito would never. What? What's going on? Kaito. <sighs> I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. I hate this. A bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Oh my god, you guys are such Don't idiots. Stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked but wait, by him? Maki feels like I should be... Should, I don't know. Pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't... Ever... Call me that! Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Like... Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Okay, Kokichi has the, you'll kill me if I appear. Kaido's just like, sorry, can't do it. Come on. I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Open it up then. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Kaido is alive. At no, you. <laughs> no, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is that really true? It's super not, dude. What story does the evidence tell? Does that story end with Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question and soon. Can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case is very clearly Kaito. Like, come on. I'm trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points hey, to Kaito. what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. 
You said you you, you Kaito is Kaito, already dead. Ka we've literally been told find the truth. Ooh, that's what we're doing. Oh wait. <laughs> good, good. Oh, we're going to do a scrum. Really? Are we going to have a scrum with the Exisil up there? Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. All right. Let's give it everything we've got. All right, let's see how this goes. Again, another Gurren Lagan reference. I'm gonna say it every time. So, is the Exosol joining us, or is it gonna float? Is it just staying? It's just staying there. Okay. The fact that there's room for three is worrying. Did anyone else see that? No. Okay, just me. Who is dead? It's Kokichi versus it's Kaito. I feel like a lot of this is pretty simple. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I've got this. We don't know who's Unless in the Exosol. The Exosol. We can't confirm that. But he said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Maki. We don't know Anybody that because you can't see Kaito's inside. Can make that claim. Yeah, right? Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Maki. No. Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's sh- I've got this! There was arrow Kaito's holes in arrow Kaito's holes clothes. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the ma- The mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I've got this! I want the, the truth! Because the claim that Kaito is still alive. Let's do this thing. I didn't see the button there for some reason. Wow, this one's actually difficult. Why is this one actually difficult? Oh my god, what? Oh my god, what? Oh, that was actually very difficult to do. Why was that so difficult? Why did that take so many hits? Probably because it's three against one, but... I don't... Want to believe it? In a way, I still can't. But the evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. Yeah, there's just. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is. <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. What a sick joke! It's pretty bad. You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Whoa, hey! Nice meme! Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? Like, I we haven't we even talked about the, the poison threat, yet? So we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but... What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then, let the debate begin! Alright, let's do this thing. Um... When the crossbow fires, what yes. is even going on? Okay. If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow... I was gonna say, that's the wrong thing. Fire. 
Hmm. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. N no. But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. Um, no, there's very clearly three arrows. So how could they both Oh my god! Each other? How did I miss? Shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. Well, was that just now? I feel like it goes against the information. Yep. Come on. I love the way the, the text moves in this game. It's so good. I took the crossbow from I secretly got a different one. But only one crossbow was taken. That's true. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one there we go. Sometimes it just you're like that should have hit. Wait, Himiko. What do you mean one arrow? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so. What? That's. Hmm. Are you positive? Of course. There's no way I got that wrong. Well then, that's strange, because... It's very clearly three there. there. Three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Oh man, okay. This is confusing now. Three? I know I only gave him one! Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said she only brought one. What's going on here? Maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. Yeah, we can go there and check. And all three arrows had blood on them. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Then where did these arrows come from? I don't think Kimiko's lying. No. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. Vroom vroom into my mind car. I'm sure my mind car will figure this out. Oh wow, this is extra vapor wave. So I gotta... The... Oh, I missed one. Oh right, and I gotta be on the look- every time I come here, I'm like, I gotta be on the lookout for that one in-trial Monokuma. So let's see, can I get them both? Kind of. No. Okay, so let's see here. Ooh, 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 hey, don't touch the walls. Can I lose text? Is that a possibility, even? Well, this one's actually getting a little bit more difficult. Only a little bit. How many arrows did Himiko give Kaito? One. Like, I don't think that's a lie at all. Unless we're just gonna be like, yeah, she lied. It's not the case. Is it gonna be zero, one, two, three? No, one, two, three, four. Yep. I hate that good sound. It's so weird. All right, next up. Him with the bombs. I wonder if we're gonna get revealed that yes, there's another bomb. We open it up, and inside is not either Kokichi or Kaito, but it's it's Mono Kid. I don't know. Monosuke, that's his name. Oh, there he was. Can I turn around? No, I super didn't even see him. Were all the hangers, hangers inside the arrow from the start? Yes, were all the arrows inside the hanger from the start? Were all they inside the hanger? No, where would they come from? Oh god, they're gonna pop. Nope, I was right, thank god. Yeah, because where'd they come from? One of them had to be added in. Is 
This is such like jet set radio music. I love it. Uh, who brought the arrows? I'm gonna say probably if it's an option, the killer. If it's not an option, Kokichi, maybe? Let's see. Who brought the two arrows? It has to be Kokichi, who's trying to pin it on us, right? Yeah, Kokichi. Oh, really? Third party? Okay. Are we sure it can't be Kokichi? Oh, like, well, no, but you know that, hmm, that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So, someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. <sighs> Who could it be? Said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? I'm very confused. Impossible. Where? There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It's completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel like there might be another way, some way that we haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think, think. What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Hangman's Gambino... Window? Wait, what? X? What word is here? L... S... I'm gonna try the common letters. A... E... Okay, E. Um... E L... No. S. No. Oh, exists all. Exists. I just need an L now. Give me that L right there. Okay, an exists all. Sure. That's true. Yeah. I was. I was like, what? What word could that be? I was like, elevator. E escalator. The it's way too long. The exosol could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar... Oh my god, is it gonna be like, yes, it was Monokuma who killed him! I saw no way. I saw enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an exosol? Well... Trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, okay, the okay, well, that. Him. Opens the door quite Does literally. It be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said. I can't believe the exosols actually Third came part, part of it. Like, I mean, I guess the, the giant mechas from Danganronpa 2 but weren't part of it. Can just anyone pilot an exosol? Well, Kokichi, it's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Nipples too. Anyway, this that's, third party that's a really good exosol, voice clip. <laughs> ...and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you, that's impossible. 
Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. Why? Not possible. Maki, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? <gasps> Was it you? Why don't you tell me? Maki! Were you the one who supplied the arrows? I sure heck can hope not! The hatch's electronic lock is definitely going to be a problem. They could have used see it to him. That is true. Possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we <laughs> hate even know the how nipples. to get inside an Exosol? Let's see here. Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. That's true. And they were all moving too. Yes. I was controlling them remotely. No, you weren't. The hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. You weren't controlling them There's remotely. No they were on autopilot. So getting inside one would have been impossible. You're right. It's impossible. It's not impossible. There's one way to stop There's an exosol. So I'll show them. Oh, they it's... Oh, it yeah, there is the illu used electro hammer. Oh, my God. That possible. is so cheating. I'm sorry. Is operating the exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four exosols. That's true. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. Wait, did I, did I miss the one I needed? Why not? Yesterday, all the hammers. Wait. Haha, ha, gotcha. Wait. Not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? I mean, there's really only one choice at this point. The identity of the third party. The Electro Hammer gives us a clue. It's the one person who was like, I'm not going to lose an Electro Hammer because I want to use a knife because it's so much better. Saw four exosols yesterday when I met up with Kaito. This morning we were trying to get into the hangar. There were three. Cover must use the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us who could think of that. Yo, I'm sorry, girl. It's super you. It's you! Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. Try be careful, run out of batteries, you gotta do it one shot, 24 hours, yes, the yes, all that. to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Yep, she was all like, No, I gotta use my knife because it's... I prefer my knife so much. It's... I don't need to really use a weapon I'm not familiar with. This is better. Stabby stab. A knife was supposed to know best. We should have thought that was suspicious. Was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosol with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Wow, that's like Metal Gear, now man. We just have to figure out what happened after- I'll kill your logic. 
I'll kill your logic. That's good. That's real good. Why are you doing this? Why what? are you getting in my way? Because the truth, man. Maki, what are you? Yes, I'm the third party. Hey, well, there we go. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit. Okay, I mean, we'll see here. We got to rebuttal you. Let's see here, the poison. Whoa, whoa, that's fast. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow Stop. there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Huh? It's no use. She's not listening to me, but I can't You're back right. down. I used okay, the I gotta get through. Hammer. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Good. Advance. Let's go. The is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The it's arrows the poison. Holes in the clothes. Think about Stop. the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots. Is not going to kill you. Ah, uh, but poison would. Ha ha! Cut through your words. Except it's very clearly an antidote there, but whatever, we gotta play along like we don't know that at this point. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit, if it were poisoned. The poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal, no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? I don't think so. There's no way she is! Because we're not at the halfway mark yet. I can't understand if you don't explain anything! Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... All of us? The sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be... Um, all of us. That's it! She'd kill everyone! She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Woof, Maki, you're not making it look Just good. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? But doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Oh no, I'm finding the truth. Maki, I already predicted this would happen. Wait. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. Mm. That's why you've been so calm. We're playing into his scheme. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. What? We... I... I think we have to... You're a detective. We kind of have to. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, that's a this bold statement. You're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? That seems like a bad idea. I don't know, man. What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. What? What? So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? 
oh yeah, we were bros. We were chilling out by the window yeah. talking about I girls and stuff. It was pretty dope. It was cool. I see. Popped open a brewski. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility wow, for involving you everyone. Turned. Shuichi. You're so persistent. Were you always like that? You think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so, Maki began telling the truth. Oh my god, is this the next that time would leave on? Us all in shock. <laughs> No, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Well, I love that. I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. Oh, that's an ominous camera shot. Oh, that's the best intermission shot we've got. Um, all right. Thank you all for watching. And next time, yes, we'll go into the second half of the trial to hear about the truth. See what's up. We'll see you then for some more Dangrumpa V3. Ciao. You can